Today we're going to look at how you can caption a video that you might want to place on the web when it doesn't have captioning. Here in my folder I have this video for mindfulness training and over here I have my OneDrive and so basically I can either click upload or I can just grab the file and drop it on the screen and it starts uploading it. I'm going to maximize the window. And so I'm going to come back to this. I'm going to pause right now because it takes a little bit of time for So the upload has completed and you'll see here's the file. If I select it and then come over here, I can share it or copy the link for it. But what I want to do is I want to look at the file. So I click on it, open it, and we don't need to listen to it. And then over here, it says video settings. So I'm going to click on that. And right here, it says transcript and captions. I'm going to put this on, and then you're going to click generate English. I'm going to pause the video again and get back to this when it's uh, finished. Depending on how long your video is, the captioning can take quite a long time uh, if it's like an hour long video. This video is 9 minutes and 47 seconds and I think it took about that amount of time, maybe 12 minutes to have the captions done. And so when you come back to your video, you're going to see when you click play, that over here there's a CC, and you can turn those captions on. Reward-based learning is based on rewards. Over on the right, you will find the word transcript, and if you click on that, you will see that the captions are also in a transcript. Now, there's no way to edit the captions or the transcript inside of OneDrive here. So what you have to do is you have to go to this transcript button, turn that off, go to video settings, and it says transcript and captions. You're gonna drop that down, and you're gonna see there's a little blue arrow, and you're gonna click that. Down on the bottom left, if you're using Chrome browser, you'll see it says, Tame Your Feelings VTT, and that's being downloaded into the Downloads folder. And once it's in the Downloads folder, you're going to be able to open that file and make work changes in that transcript. So let's take a look at that. All right, I have opened up my Downloads folder, and you'll see there's the uh, VTT file. So I'm going to right-click on that, and I can open with Notepad. And the reason I'm choosing Notepad is because I need to keep the VTT format. So I'm gonna open that up and you'll see here is the text for each of those segments of time. And this is the correct format for the VTT file. So if I wanna edit in here, I can change any of these words. And so you'd have to listen or when you were watching the video, make note of where you were when you saw on air. That's the only way to do the editing currently for this. And so when you finish, of course, you're gonna to have to click File and Save. And that's basically how you make the edits. Once you made that edit, you're gonna come back to your video and you're gonna click on Video Settings. And you're gonna see Transcript and Captions and you're gonna do this drop down here. And you'll see there's a Delete so you need to delete your file. Then you click the delete button. Then after you have deleted the file, you click the upload button. You then click select file. You're going to go to your downloads folder. And you'll see there is the VTT file. You're going to click on that and you're going to click open and then you're going to click the Done button. 
and it loads those edited BTT file, which is your transcript and captions, back into your file. So you can play it. Reward-based learning is based on reward. Finally, you may have to refresh your screen because after you have made this change, you might see the CC button, which we just looked at, but the transcript and video settings and all that disappears. So you will click on your left arrow here and your right arrow. This is just a flaw that they have in their software right now. And then, you know, this screen will show back up with your video and start playing it. Pause your video and come over to transcript. And there's your transcript that you have edited.